today you will need some props. So as you can see, I'm on a blanket here. Um, you might need some to stack up. And then you're going to stack up if you happen to have a bolster like this, then grab it. If not, just take either a couple of firm pillows or a bunch of blankets that can kind of resemble this because we're going to use this to, to lie our bodies on. So just have that prepared. We're not going to use it right now, but we will get to it. And we're going to come into our ankle stretch. So basically you're just sitting on your heels. You're going to spread your calf muscles and sit down on your heels like such. Now, if this is not accessible because of knee stuff, then you're going to prop a bunch of stuff on top of your calf muscles and make a little seat for yourself. So you can sit up as high as being on your knees, basically, maybe a little bit of a lean back, right? And if for whatever reason you, you can't access this, just take a crisscross. So <clears throat> let's begin. It's our yin practice. It is all about letting go, it's being still and releasing, right? letting go of any rigidity. Let's rest our palms facing down on our thighs, roll the shoulders up and back. And sit up nice and tall, close your eyes. We're gonna do some breathing. But just some reminders about our yin practice. Allow your body to release into the postures instead of trying to force the opening. Try to find stillness in the postures instead of fidgeting. And find a lightness in that. Use props if you need to. Let's bring the awareness to the breathing. Breath is flowing in and out through the nostrils. Make sure you're belly breathing and that you're not breathing into the chest. So relax the abdomen fully and just expand the belly as you breathe in. Feel the belly dropping and just the subtle contraction as you breathe out. And start to lengthen the breath a bit more. So deeper inhale, deeper exhale. And throughout our practice, we're going to utilize our breath to assist us in going deeper in the poses. So as you breathe in, count the breath to four, inhaling on a four count. Roll into the exhale and count six on the way out. So the breath count is four, six, four inhale, six exhale. And make sure it's a deep four count and a deep exhale, a deep six count. At the bottom of your next exhalation, let go of the counting, let go of the deep breathing for a moment here. Let's soften the brow, start to look into the space between and behind your eyes. Look down into your heart center and open yourself to an intention for your practice today. What brings you to your mat? What would you like to achieve? And once you've found that intention, gently blink your eyes open. And we're going to go into our toe squat right away. So you're just going to tuck your toes under and get the ball mounds of your foot 
as far under you as you can and sit back on your heels. And this may not be accessible. So if that's the case, again, just come on your knees and tuck your toes under and press back a little bit. So some pressure into the bottom ends of the foot. You could even do this sitting, right? If you needed to on a chair instead of doing the crisscross. Or if you'd rather just do the crisscross the other way, you could do that if you were crisscrossing for the first pose. So sit back on your heels, rest your palms facing down. Try to be straight here with the spine instead of leaning forward. If you're leaning forward, you probably need to put some supports and come up a little bit higher. Come back to that four, six breathing, inhaling on four, exhaling on six. We're gonna take reverse prayer hands to assist us in being tall. So inverted V, hands walk up the back or fist to fist. Breathing in on four, breathing out on six. If it becomes too intense, you're just gonna maybe lift yourself up a little bit and then drop yourself back down when you're ready. Finish out this breath that you're in. Complete the cycle. Release your reverse prayer and make your way onto your palms. We're just gonna flip our toes the other way, just little toe taps. Tap it out, wake up those feet. Let's take the right toes and tuck them over, press that heel back and just get a little calf stretch here. Keep yourself lifted here so you're not collapsing, you're not dumping into your shoulders. Really scoop those toes under, press the heel back, and let's switch legs. Left toes under, left leg goes straight back. And release. So we're gonna grab that support that I mentioned at the beginning of our practice here. I'm gonna stack up some blankets and pillows. And we're going to make our way onto our, let's see, let's come onto the left hip. So just take your knees together. You could even put a blanket in between your legs. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this so I can face you. So basically, if you need to have a blanket in between your inner thighs, it might even be helpful just to do. And we're going to come onto, so come onto your left hip, draw it under you, left legs and face your support here. And you're just gonna bring yourself down. So we're coming into this supported twist here. And you can just stay here with your forehead resting, or if you have space, just kind of draw those um, left ribs back and pray, place your right ear on your support here. If you can, arms are just gonna kind of reach out to the side and the wide open too. And then you're just gonna hang out and breathe that four, six breath. I'm trying to find a way of doing this one. My iPad doesn't touch the support. I make weird noises. So inhaling on four, exhaling on six. And allow your torso to just kind of sink into whatever you want in there right now. If you find more space, you can pull those left ribs back and turn your torso down just a little bit more. Do a little bit deeper into the chest. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Your arms are healthy.
Place your palms down, press yourself up, and we'll go the other way. Come on to your right hip. Swing that hip under you. Again, some support between the knees if you need to. And start to walk yourself facing downwards. You could start with the forehead resting. And then start to spin. So then we start to turn. Pull those right ribs back. Left ear. Left side of the face on your support. And if you find space, you just go a little bit deeper into the twist, relax those shoulders. Just wringing it out, letting go of stuck energy in your body. Inhaling on four, exhaling on six. Finish out the cycle of breath that you're in right now. And then bring yourself back to center. Press up off of the support. Move that out of the way. And come into tabletop position. Throw through a few cats and cows here. Just gentle. Drop the belly, lift the heart. Roll through the spine, perhaps you can feel just a little bit more space. Breathe in on the cow, breathe out on the cat. Come back to neutral spine as you roll into your next inhale. Let's take the toes together, knees wide apart. We're gonna press back into child's pose. So you can use props here on top of your calf muscles. Have that same support that you just had in front of you under your chest if you want. Just for a little bit more support or just go into the child's pose without any support. Come back to the four, six breathing. And finish out your breath. Come back up onto your hands and knees. And let's swing ourselves around. 
So we're gonna come into shoelace pose again. Grab your props if you are tight in your hips. It really says legs out in front. So we'll start with the right leg up and over, knee over knee. You can stay here or you can bring your heel towards your opposite buttock if you have space. You can also sit on blankets. You can put supports in between all of those open spaces if you're really tight here. So for those of you that have more space, shimmy those shins forward. Let's even out the sitting bones. Lift yourself nice and tall. And once again, my allergies are kicking in, so I might not go for a full fold, but you should. So when you walk yourself forward, let your head get heavy, let your whole body drop over your legs here. Try to get as tall and long over your legs as possible, and then let everything drop. Come back to the four, six count breathing. And I'm not gonna fold fully forward, so. I don't sniffle through the entire class. <laughs> Let's let those hips go. So breathe into your hips, use the breath to find space. Every exhale on that six count, you're softening. As you know, with our yin practice, we hold postures for several minutes. So be present, be patient. Slowly start to make your way out of the pose. Take your time entering and exiting our in poses. Release your legs, shake it up. And we make our way into the other side. So left leg up and over. Even out your seat, pull that left heel in if you have the space. Maybe those shins go forward. Oof, set up nice and tall. Breathe, soften into your hips. And for some of you, just sitting up tall might be enough, might be enough of an opening. So find your space. If you can, you walk forward, you let your whole body drop over your legs here. Again, I'm gonna hold myself up so my nose doesn't run. <laughs> Breathe, the beauty of life. Four on the inhale, six on the exhale. Really feel every part of your body softening. If you find more space, you go deeper into the pose. If it becomes too intense, walk out of it a little bit. Try to stay in it. Unless there's a signal telling you you need to come out of it, learn to know the difference between discomfort and pain, right? Something that's not working.
check that you're still connected with your breathing. And slowly start to make your way out of the pose. Shake it out. Let's make our way onto our backs really quickly. And then take your feet wide apart. Drop your knees over to the right into a windshield wiper. Just hang out here for a few breaths. And bring it back to center, over to the left. And bring it back to center. So Let's rock ourselves to our bellies, and we'll do one final little thing for our shoulders here. You're gonna crisscross your arms in front of you, right? So crisscross your right arm in front of your left arm, palms facing down here. And just kind of walk them as far away from each other as you can. And then this is where your props again can come in handy. So you can stack up, you know, a bunch of pillows or blankets in front of you and use them to rest on. Or if you have the space, you can just rest on your forearms here. So just as far over as you can get. And you might need to kind of tilt your head too, a little bit to the left. And just let the weight of the body kind of sink down onto the shoulders. Just feel them spreading out. And come back to your four, six breathing. And let's slowly start to make our way out of the right side and switch. So just uncross them and switch the left one in front of the right one or the other way if you happen to do it the other way. And start to kind of walk those hands as far apart as you can. And just rest your head, maybe tilt to the right side a little bit or just rest your chin on your forearms, whatever you have access to or supports. Come back to your four, six breath count. And breathe. Allergies means it's spring, so it's a good thing. <laughs> Flowers are blooming. Inhaling on four, exhaling on six.
And let's slowly make our way out of the pose and flip yourself around, make your way onto your back and we'll take our Shavasana. So place props under your knees, under your head if you need them, or lie flat on your mat, whatever feels good, be supported. Give your body space, let go of your controlled breathing. Let go of the counting. Let go of your body. Allow yourself to fully surrender in your Shavasana. Make sure the eyes are closed if you haven't closed them yet. Drop your gaze into that third eye space. Just rest your attention here. Look into yourself. Let go. And your awareness back to your breathing. Come back to your body. Start to reawaken your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Take a deep stretch, arms up over the head, fingertips to toes. Hug the knees into the chest. With the eyes still remaining closed, rock yourself to your side into fetus and press up to seated. Sit tall, feel your body, roll your shoulders back. Let's take the palms to prayer. Seal all of that work in between your hands. Press your thumbs into your heart center and draw your chin in and bow your head forward and bow down to your ability to make space for something new. In order to do that, you need to let go. Bow down to your heart and bow down to your light. Honor that space within all beings. And let's send a collective prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. Now express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale that back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. Let's see what today's angels have to say. Number one. Ooh, I like that. Transformation. Number two. Communication. And number three, it's celebration again. Must be a time to celebrate. Thank you all for being here. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.